There's a prerequisite for this training and that's loading a piece of software called GPS Babel. It's free off the internet and it's something we'll use to convert our tracks and waypoints from Google Earth to Humminbird PC. Go ahead and download that now so you'll have it on your PC and ready to go when it's time to use it. In this tutorial we want to accomplish several objectives. The first of which is to create waypoints in Google Earth get them into Humminbird PC through the GPS Babel software. And the second objective is to use the history of Google Earth and go back to a point in time when this area, which is now covered with water, was dry. This way we can pick out some stumps that are hazards to navigation so that we can put waypoints on them and then create a, a route that will go through this area safely. Let's get started. In Google Earth you have an icon here for history and when that's clicked on it will display this slider bar where you can go backwards in time for prior Google Earth recordings. And So we'll go back to March of 2015. As you can see this area is dry. I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. This is kind of the main area of interest right here because normally we run up through here going to the river area of this lake. Go back, look at another one, look at another one, look at another one. Okay, well, it was full of water again. This one seems to have the best detail, has the best resolution. We can go one more and see what that looks like. As you can see, the, the one before had the best detail. So let's use this. Now, if you remember, we're looking from a satellite down, so any stumps you see are probably going to be pretty good size. So they certainly would be hazards to navigation, and some of them are enormous. This one right here is very big. So let's, let's get started, and let's put some waypoints on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the waypoint icon, and I want to use this icon right here instead of the default placeholder that uh, Google Earth comes with. And so what I want to do is I want to move that on top of that big stump right there. And I'm going to call that big one. Okay. Now let's let's find some more. I've skipped ahead a little bit. I went ahead and keyed in 10 icons on big stumps, stumps that are big enough I consider very serious navigation hazards. There are plenty of other smaller stumps out there, but these are the major ones. And um, just got to be very, very careful of those. So our next task is to export this information from Google Earth so that we can process it. I will right click on temporary places and say save place as and click on that. I'm going to save this to my Humminbird PC folder and I'm going to call it big stump big stumps oops, dot KML. So there it's saved. I have loaded the GPS Babel application for the format I selected the Google Earth Keyhole Markup Language, the KML. So I did that through this drop down box and then I navigated to my Humminbird PC folder and my Big Stumps KML. I clicked on that. I told it I just want to look at the waypoints, don't translate routes or tracks. And I told it the file name I want it to go to is in my GPX folder under my Humminbird PC. I'm going to call it BigStumps.gpx. And when I click OK, it went and did the translation, so everything was successful there. Now I will go into Humminbird PC. I will open BigStumps.gpx. There are the waypoints. Now the first order of business would be to change the icon. I, I would think that you would want to change this to the skull and crossbones for each one of them. 
I'm not going to do that while you're watching. I'll come back and do that for these 10. We've now learned how to take waypoints from Google Earth and bring them into Humminbird PC.